What's up guys, it's River Rat Productions and today we're going to be floating down the river. We're going to be trying to target some bigger fish. Hopefully we can get one on the swim bait today. Um, it's pretty cloudy today honestly, so I think we might have some pretty good luck, especially with them roaming. But yeah, we're going to be trying a few different types of baits today and hopefully it'll be something other than a Ned Rig we get bites on. Um, I got some new colors of that jig I want to try out today and I got some swim baits that I've never used before that I'm going to try out. So I have a pretty good feeling about it. So if you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below and I'll see you here in a second guys. All right guys, so we're floating down the river. Hopefully gonna catch us some bigger bass today. Last few times we haven't really caught anything that's been too, too massive. Hopefully we can get one over at least a few pounds today. All right guys, let's get to casting. So the water level is still pretty low today. It's actually about the same as it was the last time I floated it. So I'm not too sure how this is gonna go, but hopefully it'll be fine. I've still yet to get them out for my other GoPro. So sorry about that guys. I, I should have it pretty soon, hopefully. Been trying to figure out exactly how I want to do it. Looks like there was something actually right here. It looks like there was some dirt turned up right there. It's not really too, too deep right here. It's a little bit deeper, a little bit further on down. It's supposed to be pretty cloudy today. Right now it's not really as much. I'm gonna check the weather once I get to a place where I can stop. We'll see if it's supposed to be cloudy because it was super cloudy, but of course right before I uh, come out, it becomes bluebird sky, so who knows. They were calling for rain today. I was gonna come today regardless. So hopefully you can get us a nice one. That wind feels pretty good. It's not absolutely too, too hot today. I got some baits I'm wanting to try. Uh, I got these, oh, that's a big carp. Wow. That might've been what I saw. There's some pretty decently sized carp in here. I'm not really much of a, a carp person. I've caught a few. not really my thing but that's okay but there is some pretty nice one in here and sometimes they do bite the ned rig so i guess we'll just have to see what happens who knows maybe we'll catch one today <laughs> they normally school up pretty well so since i saw that one there's probably gonna be more I think we got something, guys. Ooh, there's our first little smallmouth of the day. Awesome. Well, guys, here's our first little smallie of the day. We're going to keep trying this hole. We're going to get him back in, but I caught him on the California Crawl Finesse TRD. And yeah, nice little first fish. Let's get him back in the water. Thanks, little buddy. Awesome. All right, guys, we're going to move on to the next spot. Didn't really get any bites through here. So it is what it is. Um, I think that we can definitely get some bites later on down the river. It's just super shallow here. And it's kind of like how it was last time. I'm pretty happy I've already caught a fish and I had one smallmouth come off. Got them like right to the edge of the kayak. Yeah, this, I mean, this is really, really shallow. Like, I, I haven't seen it this shallow in a while. All right, guys, so my camera is overheating a little bit. Looks like there's finally going to be some clouds that come in here in a second. And I actually see somebody further on down the river, which is kind of interesting. Oh, there's just a smallie. <laughs> what a good start. <laughs> there you guys. 
here's this pretty little smallmouth we just caught. Not too, too big, but hey, it's the second one of the day. Can't complain. We're going to get him back in the water. Thanks, little buddy. He had some skunk left. Him. I literally just cast it into this pool right here. Because running water is another good place to target, especially on days like this. Smallmouth generally like to sit here in like little pools like this. Still trying to figure out what these people are doing down here. You guys probably can't see them. It's over that rock over there in the distance. I'm actually really not that sure what they're doing. I, I think they're tubing. I see a dog with them. They might be doing the same thing I am. I don't see any fishing poles. That breeze does feel pretty good. It's only like a couple miles per hour, but still, it's better than nothing. <laughs> Oh, there's something. It's a little smally. Oh, it came off. I didn't have a good hook set into him, so that's okay. Let's try over there one more time. It's like right there where the current came in. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Sorry guys, you didn't get to see that. That'd be the same one, honestly. Oh yeah, that one's definitely the better one of the day. Here's this pretty little smallmouth I caught. Back to back cast on that one. So we're gonna put this guy back, come on the finesse TRD, the can to crawl, and the pro shrooms head. So we're gonna get him back and we're gonna keep fishing here for a second. Thanks little buddy. He was wanting to go. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're just tubing or swimming or something. I think they're just kind of swimming in this little hole down here. Right. We're going to call it a day right there on this spot. Let's head down to the next one, guys. Got two smallmouth, three to bite here. So, not too bad. Seems like today the fish are a little bit more alive. Especially once these clouds come in a little bit more, I feel like it'll be pretty good. So while we're stuck right here, I'm going to cast it a little bit. See if I can get any fish. It's pretty shallow right there, so I'm not really expecting too, too much. But who knows. Thought I had one, but it's just some grass. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to get out and walk it through this because it's just too shallow. Which is unfortunate. But that's what happens whenever the river gets this slow, so it is what it is. Oh, that's a good one. I think. Maybe it's just a piece of grass. Is it a fish? What is it? No, it's a rock bass. Awesome. Second species of the day. So here's this little rock bass. We're going to get him back in the water and send him on his little way. Hopefully we can get us some more. It's a pretty decently sized one. Thanks, little buddy. Thanks for getting me wet. That actually felt pretty good. So that was our second species of today. Surprised we haven't caught any bluegill yet. That's actually really surprising. We'll catch one eventually. Maybe a largemouth. Largemouth are actually probably the rarest fish in here. Out of all the ones I catch, I catch them the least. But sometimes I do catch some pretty nice ones. So it's kind of a give or take. I'm mainly here for smallmouth, so it doesn't really upset me too much. I'm here for a trophy sized smallmouth because I know. But there is some in here. I've caught some of them before. Maybe today will be our lucky day. Normally whenever I catch them, it's like in the winter though, so not really expecting too much. Well guys, the spot hasn't been too productive. I had one decent bite it felt like, but he did not stay on. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, we didn't get him. Ah, uh, we had another one. 
What is going on? Just had two fish that bit that. Oh yeah, that's one. That might be a pretty decent one. Woo! It's probably the best one of the day. Here's this pretty little smallmouth. I knew I had one odd. That was pretty awesome. So we're gonna get this little guy back in the water. I thought it was a little bit bigger than uh, kind of what I was expecting. So can't be too upset though. Still a pretty nice little smallie. Gonna get him back in the water here. Thanks, little buddy. Awesome. Looks like it's gotten a little bit deeper. So we're probably just gonna switch it back. Try. Probably the Ned Rig. Probably tie on one of those jigs here in a little bit. This looks like a pretty nice little hole. So now, since the clouds have kind of came out, I think they're going to be roaming a little bit. This is pretty deep too. So I have a pretty decent feeling about this little spot here. I am looking into getting the mount and everything for my second GoPro. I'm trying to figure out exactly kind of what I want. There's a lot of options, honestly. Uh, I think I'm going to have like kind of a rail system and then I'm going to get something I can like move and extend for certain situations. And eventually, I think I'm going to get one over my shoulder. That probably won't be for a little bit though. There's one. Oh, it's a little tiny rock bass. Another little rock bass for the day. You're gonna get him back in the water. I saw him actually come up and eat it, so that's pretty cool. It's probably the smallest rock bass I've got out of here, honestly. So we'll send him on his way. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. I'm probably gonna be roaming a little bit more also. So we're going to pretty much be casting kind of anywhere, really, especially where I think they'll travel at. Yeah, there we go. Stay on, buddy. That's a small mouth, I can already tell. Awesome. Barely hooked, too. <laughs> well, guys, he kind of slipped away there. <laughs> Can't really control it sometimes. I just saw one take it. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. Oh, that's a nice little largey. Stay on, buddy. Oh, stay up. Oh, yeah, that's a good little largey. Whoo. That is a pretty, pretty large mouth. I saw him came up and hit that too. That was awesome. Wow, look at that, guys. I'd probably say he's, he's a few pounds at least. I don't think I have my scale on me today. I'm not gonna weigh him because he's not like a monster. He's definitely the biggest fish and third fish species of the day. He, I watched him just come up and just smoke that. So we're gonna get a picture of him real quick and get him on his way. Well guys, while I was getting a picture, it kind of flopped down my hands. It's okay, we still caught him. That's all that matters. <laughs> I didn't get a nice little release on him, but he's gone. Oh, that was awesome. That was so cool. <laughs> I'm just happy I got a picture of him. Literally, as soon as I have the picture, he just kind of shakes himself free and he's on his way. Now what I was doing, I got it near that bush and I saw like how it was on the top of the water. And I just kind of let it sink and 
That was it. He was probably, I'd say about two, maybe three. He wasn't like anything too, too crazy, but it was still pretty awesome because <laughs> I normally don't catch largemouth through here and catch one like that. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Should have had a better grip on him, but it is what it is. It happens. I dropped a lot of fish today, actually, while I've been trying to get a release on him. So I'll upload it definitely on my Instagram. So you guys can check that out. Maybe if we get it near that log, I'll bite at it. He's like right behind that log. Ooh. Oh, we got him. <laughs> nice, pretty little smallie. Alright guys, so that's kind of right about that log. <laughs> I, I knew I heard something jump up back there and throw that right at that log. He just absolutely took it. It's not a monster, but it was still pretty cool. I thought he was a little bit bigger. He almost took the rod out of my hands, actually. These little smallmouth, they fight so hard. That's why they're one of my favorite fish to catch. So we're actually going to get a release on this guy. Thanks, little buddy. <laughs> He's already ready to go. So we're just gonna move on. Um, it's about five-ish now. It gets dark. Sunset's at 8.30, so it'll probably be dark about the nine-ish. It really depends on how cloudy it is and everything. So I might have to skip some spots or just hardly stay there. Really have no idea. I only have like about four spots I really wanna fish, maybe five, depending on if they produce or not. If they don't, then I'll just kind of move on. But yeah, we're going to go down here to my next spot and I'll see you guys here in a second. I'm here at the next spot. It's pretty shallow. Had to kind of walk quite a bit. Uh, my Ned rig almost got taken by a tree. Looks like it's okay. We're going to give it a nice little toss. If we start losing a lot of fish, I'll change out the hook. I gotta try right here. I've had pretty good luck. Pretty much every time I come down here, I always catch a fish like right there. I, I don't know why. I feel like it's because of all the water running in and it's kind of just an area they can hang out in. Just kind of let it float down in the current and they hit it. They kind of set the hook on themselves too. We'll see. The water's super low, so they might not be there. But I know it normally does hold some pretty nice fish. Yep, there we go. Woo! It's not really too nice, but it's still a fish regardless. Here's this pretty little smallmouth I just caught. Literally second cast into there. We're gonna get them back in the water though. Uh, Seems like they just can't resist this Ned rig. I'll, I'll probably change it out here pretty soon. But this is just what they seem to be biting today. So I might throw the jig and see if that helps. But I will definitely be trying some other bait. See you, little buddy. Awesome. Now let's see if we can get us another. Maybe we can get one back to back. I really I have no idea why it, they sit there all the time I, I, I get it's because of the water but i think they would change it up a little bit i changed it up to this tightrope jig it's a color i've never really thrown before so i'm gonna try to see if i can catch one on it just hope i have enough line on my spool because i honestly tonight probably whatever i get back i'll change it but it looks like i do so hopefully we don't break off too much or get a bad knot But I feel like this is going to be a good way to target a big smallmouth. And that's kind of what I'm after right now. Because I've caught a decent amount today. I can't really be too upset. And normally, this little finesse jig catches some pretty, pretty nice ones. Well, guys, the past few spots really haven't had too much action with this jig. So I'm really not too sure. 
why i i think i've had a few bites nothing like too too crazy this is like a rocky area so i do feel like there are some fish here it's pretty deep too so i feel like as long as i just drag this pretty slow i feel like we'll get one i think that's one Look, oh, ooh, that's a good one. I don't know how big it is. Might actually be a pretty decent one. Ah. It's a pretty good little smaller. Oh yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that was cool. Small mouth is pretty decent. Whew, that's a football if I didn't say so myself. Look at that, guys. It's a pretty nice little smallie there. I'd say it's about a pound and a half or so. It's definitely pretty chunky. So happy I caught this little guy. I, I was just talking smack about it. I was like, no luck yet so far. And then we get this nice little smolly. So we're gonna fish here for just one more second. See, I'll send this guy on his way. All right, thanks, little buddy. Ooh, gave me a little splatter. <laughs> well, guys, apparently while I was sitting there, my rod fell in the water. Uh, I didn't even realize it did until I was drifting downstream. So I'm kind of trying to look for it now. Um, <laughs> that's unfortunate hopefully I can find it somewhere through here so I kind of wish it was not as muddy because I really can't see it well guys turns out that that section right there is pretty deep so uh can't get my rod. I tried like with a weight and a treble hook, but it's coming a pretty nasty storm. I might try to look for it later. So that's unfortunate. And it, it's thundering pretty bad. So I'm probably just gonna have to head back, but it is what it is. I hate that it happened. I'm probably gonna upgrade my rod. I'm not really too sure yet. So we'll just kind of have to see. I have to see what's in stock and everything and hopefully I can find something that'll work because I'm really picky about my spinning rods. I was thinking about getting another Dobbins just for a spinning combo and maybe doing like a Shimano reel. I'm not sure which one. I'm gonna have to do some research tonight kind of see what I like what they have. So I'm going to paddle back to the car. At least we ended it on a good small mouth. Can't really be too upset with that. I mean, besides the fact of me dropping my rod and reel in the water without even noticing it on footage, maybe I can find it whenever I edit this video and see kind of generally where I dropped it. I kind of have an idea, but I didn't even really know it fell in the water until I released the small mouth and I was like, where's my rod? And then, yeah. So I'll see you guys back here in a second. I'm probably gonna get drenched. Well guys, currently walking my kayak through this. Yeah, this is a fun day guys. Uh, had a wonderful time. You can literally see how bad this is. I mean, it's raining pretty good. We need it. Well guys, we, we really didn't have too good of an ending there. Um, uh, it looks like I'm buying a new spinning combo. I looked for a few hours trying to get that rod back, but I, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure you smash that subscribe button and make sure you hit the like button too while you're at it. And also let me know 
if you think I can get my rod back or not. I'm not really too sure. I'm going to try and hopefully get it back, but we'll see. Also, let me know down below what your favorite lure is to use this time of year. And if you haven't already, please follow me on Instagram. I'll have that link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Thank you.